And for a start, okay, yeah, three, two, and one. This debate is mainly about whether the use of hybrid specialization is beneficial for higher education and is needed in the current world. So it's about which side will be able to create more opportunities for students while also benefit the education system as a whole. We believe that on our side, we focus on developing the student's full potential on a specific subject. We'll also allow the teachers to do further research, and we believe that this is like a better change and a meaningful change for the education system. So at least on our side, we're the only ones who aim at a better future by making changes that are beneficial for students' further studies and create a meaningful changes for education. Note the fact that in the info slide, it specifically says that hybrid specialization refers to the fact that students can choose to uh, use hyper specialization when they are in university or when they attend some under undergraduate studies. That means that they already finished college and they attend other undergraduate classes to further their studies to become professors, uh, etc. So first of all, a little framing is that what will the students look like at the end of this debate on both sides? On our side, they will be able to explore deeply on the subject they are currently studying and they will have more experiences and make better choice when it comes to choosing a major or a path in the future. And also it will reduce the problem of choosing a wrong major for their studies because we heard that proposition says over and over again is that when they uh, don't have hyper specialization, then students, they can like opt out whenever they want and they have more choices. Even though this may happen, we believe that this is not very beneficial for them since they will have a mindset is that I can opt out whenever I want. If I don't like this, I can just choose another one. This will create a mindset and it's not going to be good for them in the future since students will not know how to make careful decisions and they will not know what is best for them and they will not even know what is their interest in the first place. So with hyper-specialization, they are required to make decisions when they go to university or after university so that their interests and their like their interest will be better secured and their career will be better secured. Uh, so first of all, for some clarification, is that proposition needs to prove to us how hyper-specialization is so bad for higher education in the first place and why their current education is better and provides more opp opportunities for students. So first of all, for third proposition, they says to it that students cannot get a job because they are only specialized in one thing. And we believe this is totally false because rejected. This is totally false because for students, we believe that without hyper-specialization, then they are already majored in one specific major. In the current status quo, without hyper-specialization, then students, they are already required to choose a major. They may choose to major in business, economics, or medicine, studying herbology, etc. So they are already required to do so when they, without hyper-specialization. And with hyper-specialization, it's just like something that will help them to deeper their studies and understand if they want to further their studies more. So it's like a choice. We don't require any student to study to become professors or this or that because hyper-specialization is for students who have passion and want to further their studies uh, overall. And uh, you can say that, okay, so coming to our extension is that first speaker they mentioned, like our first speaker mentioned very clearly for the fact that how this is a beneficial and meaningful change for the education system overall. Since notice the, notice the fact that the program the edu of education nowadays has been appeared for a long, long time. That means that for students, I mean for teachers, they will likely use over and over again their materials that they have taught their students for a long time. But with the with this meaningful change, then the professors and teachers, they will be required to do more research on the field that they're about to teach their students, require them to provide new materials for their students. And for students, it will require them also to actually be better at what they're studying and better time management. So first proposition here, their main case around the fact that students are incapable of doing further studies because they said to us that it will add more confusion to students. They say that students still don't know what they're going to pursue in the future. <coughs> this is absolutely wrong since we believe that students have to make choices of what they're going to study in middle school or even high school already. Because a lot of private or public schools, they require students to choose subjects that they want to study already in some private or public school nowadays. And even if it leads to confusion, the problem can easily be solved because every school will have a service in which they will provide help for students who still don't know what, what they want to do. Reject it. 
and it will require students to make careful decisions since they have to note the fact that they're already 18 years old. It means that they have to be responsible for their actions and understand that careful decisions are crucial. Uh, and you also said that it make it harder for them to manage their study. We don't see how this is such a pro big problem in this debate. The purpose of when they go to school is that they have to learn how much their time better and how to keep studying of what they're actually learning. Because notice the fact that we don't force any student to learn a specific field. It's their own passion and they choose to learn in the first place. So they should be responsible for what they choose to learn. Uh, and you also said that some hybrid specialization may be too competitive and they, may dis and they may be dissatisfied with what they have done and unsuccessful. Noted that everything in life is competitive and proposition make it seems like education suddenly becomes competitive because of hybrid specialization. If it's competitive, then we believe that students are required to work harder. And this is something that schools and universities are aiming to help students with this big problem. Uh, okay. And moving on to our second speech, our second speaker noticed the fact that how this is beneficial for students, it provides them opportunities and it provides for them like a secure future since they are required to do deep and further studies on what they have chosen. And now second proposition, okay, I'll take it. <clears throat> Uh, I don't understand what you're saying, actually. Can you simplify it? I, I can't hear. So, okay. So basically, what I heard from proposition is that, like, because what we're saying is that hyper-specialization is just a tool for them to deepen their study. It's not something that they will only specialize in something, and they are required to do that without hyper-specialization in the first place. But, like, for second proposition, they says that, like, price higher, we believe that this is what the student already choose in the first place. If they cannot afford it, then they will not achieve higher education themselves. And it says that like teachers, they're unlikely to adapt to the material to teach students, but it's simply not true because nowadays their job is to adapt. Their job is to adapt so that they can actually teach their students and their job is to further their studies as well. And he also says that modern world, they will need bookworm and they need like collaboration and stuff and personal development will be hindered. This is simply not true because like this subject is based on their interest and based on their career goals. So like their personal development will be even higher for the fact that they will be able to pursue what they actually love rather than your side. You just said that students can just like change their decision over and over again if they cannot make decisions. This will only make a world where students, they're unable to make decisions and they're incapable of following what they're actually dreamt of. So our site has been able to prove to you that hyper specialization is actually beneficial for students and it's beneficial for the education system since it is a meaningful change. It means that the education system is trying to be better because they're trying to provide students with better materials and better fields of what they're actually studying.